Hi, it's Katrina. From cats getting lost in a blizzard to blind dogs sniffing their way home, here are 12 pets that were found after being lost. Number 12, Dixie the Cat. The Delaney's made an extensive search and went asking door to door when their cat Dixie disappeared in 1999. However, Dixie was nowhere to be found. Eventually, Alan and Jilly were forced to reconcile themselves to the fact that Dixie was gone for good. But in 2008, nine years later, a stray cat was reported to the RSPCA in Birmingham, England. The resident who reported the cat said that it had been seen in the area for a couple of months. When vets checked the cat for a microchip, they found that it was the Delaney's cat. Dixie had been picked up less than half a mile from her old home. Within 30 minutes, Dixie was back in the home she had missed for nine years. The RSPCA officer said, in 29 years of working for the RSPCA, I have never seen anyone so excited and happy as Mrs. Delaney. It made my day to return Dixie. According to Jilly, Dixie promptly settled down as if she had never left. Her personality, behavior, and little mannerisms haven't changed at all. The only noticeable change is the continuous happy purring. Number 11, Pico Chan the Budgie. In 2012, a pet parakeet named Pico Chan was returned safely to his guardian in Sagamihara, Japan after miraculously reciting his address to police officers. Pico Chan's guardian was so afraid of losing another parakeet, like she had lost her previous one, that she taught Pico Chan to recite his address just in case he was lost. According to USA Today, the baby blue budgie escaped from its home in Yokohama, Japan on Sunday. He flew for some time until finally flying into a hotel window and perching on the shoulder of a guest. It was then that Pico Chan not only began talking, but he actually recited his home address, including the city, district, block, and street number of his owner's residence. In addition to all this information, the bird also told him his name. Luckily for both the Guardian and Pico Chan, they weren't separated for long. And now for number 10, but first remember to subscribe before you leave. Number 10, Manuela the Tortoise. Manuela, a red-footed tortoise owned by the Almeida family in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, went missing in 1982. But 30 years later, Leandra Almeida discovered the beloved turtle while clearing out an old room that had been used for junk storage after the death of a family member. Can you imagine? Leandro was throwing out a box when a neighbor asked if he was throwing out the tortoise as well. The family then realized that Manuela had been nestled among the junk the whole time. The vet then came to the conclusion that Manuela probably survived off of eating termites or other insects off the wooden floor. With that much junk in the room, who knows what else was there? Number 9. Turner the Cat Turns Up Turner the Cat is an excellent story of why you should never give up on finding your pets, if they are ever lost. Turner went missing at 9 years old. Because of their location, the family feared Turner had been eaten by coyotes. However, two years later, Turner was found by a rescue group about five miles from his home in Marin County, California. Turner's owner, David, was stunned when he got the word that Turner had been found. We just could not believe it, he said. We're still pretty blown away by all this. And that is why your pets should always have a microchip. Number 8. Scribbles the Horse on the morning of November 13, 2012, Brittany Wallace found her beloved horse on Facebook. When Brittany was a child, she realized she had outgrown Scribbles and gave him to a wonderful home where she could visit her horse whenever she wanted, until Scribbles disappeared one day. The woman refused to give her information on Scribbles' whereabouts, and the horse was lost. Somehow, Brittany found a picture of her old dear friend bleeding and injured and on a way to a slaughterhouse. Not sure how she found this picture. Brittany stated that she knew the picture was of Scribbles when she saw the face. She called the transporter who was able to identify a scar that Scribbles had under her tail. From there, Brittany and the transporter made arrangements for Scribbles to make it back to Brittany's home. Finally, on December 13, 2012, Scribbles and Brittany were together again. Number 7. Ginger the Basset Hound You might have heard the saying that pets will never forget you. Well, this story of Ginger the Basset Hound is proof that this is absolutely true. Ginger and his human dad lost contact with each other when Ginger's parents were getting a divorce. Ginger went to live with her mother and never saw her dad until about a decade later. Ginger was put up for adoption by her human mother at a local shelter and then adopted and surrendered by an elderly couple because they could no longer take care of her. Ginger's dad recognized her description even without a photo while browsing the listings when he was looking for a new pet. When Ginger's human dad came to get her, 
10 years after the divorce, a 13-year-old Ginger came right over to her dad, kissed him, and has not left his side since. Number 6. Ginger the Cat Ginger the Cat had quite an adventure when he escaped his cage at the veterinarians back in 2013. Ginger is apparently a very popular pet name. Ginger, who was about four years old at the time, was missing for almost two weeks in the dead of winter and the weather was terrible. By the way, Ginger only had one eye. He slipped out of his cage while being taken for treatment by his owner. Over 10 days, Ginger braved a blizzard, survived the outdoors in frigid temperatures, and crossed at least 30 main roads to make his way back home. Ginger's human companion said she only found Ginger outside after he had turned on one of the security lights behind the house. I thought I was seeing things, Ginger's companion stated. Not only has he made his own way home, but he has done it in the hardest weather conditions. I'm so happy and relieved to have him back. The vet said they had never heard anything like it before. Number 5. Buster the Hurricane Survivor The O'Donovan family lost their dog Buster, a Rhodesian Ridgeback and German Shepherd mix, when he ran away from his home in Bell Harbor, Queens in New York City. Workers were assessing damage brought on by Hurricane Sandy, and he must have slipped out. With no electricity and no internet, Miss O'Donovan could not do a proper search for Buster. According to reports, Buster had been missing for two weeks and was going to be euthanized at the animal shelter within 24 hours when his human companion found his picture online. I looked at the photo and I knew it was him, said O'Donovan, who went with her children on December 14, 2013 to bring Buster back home just before his euthanasia appointment. That was a super close one. Number 4. Orvar the Cat In 2007, Orvar's human companion decided to adopt a dog, which did not sit well with Orvar and the cat took off. Orvar's dad checked in regularly with his local animal shelter for quite some time, but after a couple of years, he came to the conclusion that his cat was either dead or had been adopted by someone else, hopefully someone nice. However, in 2014, Orvar's human companion received an email from his local animal shelter with surprising news. Orvar, who had a microchip, had been found. His owner said, at first I really couldn't believe it, I did not know what to expect. When he arrived, the shelter told him that his cat was shy and stayed in the corner, but when he called out his name, he came running and climbed on top of him. His owner was so happy and it was as if they had never been apart. Number 3. Abby the Blind Dog Abby first disappeared from her family's home in December of 2012 during a snowstorm with temperatures below zero. Because Abby was blind, her human family felt they would never see their eight-year-old dog again. Abby had made her way through miles of frozen Alaskan terrain until she found a warm home to take her in. Luckily for Abby, the freezing temperatures had not affected her. While Abby had no microchip, the wonders of social media were able to reunite her with her family right around Christmas, and their reunion was definitely a Christmas miracle. The vet, who found Abby and eventually her companions, stated she had to have found her way by sniffing. Number 2. Shelby the Long Lost Cat When Shelby went missing from her home in Victoria, Australia in 2001, Paula Harper Adams thought she'd seen the last of her. Thirteen years and four sons later, a stray black and white cat showed up at their home one day. Harper Adams took the scrawny, matted, lice-ridden stray to a vet and then noticed its markings were similar to Shelby's. So Harper Adams dug out some old photos of Shelby to compare them. Shelby's companion also had the veterinarian staff compare them and they all came to the conclusion that it was indeed the same cat. Shelby, who is now 17 years old, gave no clue as to where she had been, but somehow she found her way home. Number 1. Nigel the Parrot In 2010, Nigel managed to fly away from his California home. Nigel's human companion searched for him but with no luck and eventually figured Nigel was gone for good. However, four years later, someone found a stray parrot and took him to the vet. The vet scanned his microchip and found Nigel's owner. To his surprise, the parrot no longer spoke with a British accent, like he had been when he had left four years earlier. Instead, Nigel had learned to speak Spanish. They had purchased him for $400 at a yard sale shortly after he disappeared. A member of the Smith family contacted Nigel's owner and explained that her grandfather had formed a close bond, renaming him Morgan after his wife died. Nigel's owner, touched by the story, decided to officially rename Nigel Morgan and brought him back to the Smith family. Still not sure how he learned to speak Spanish. Thanks for watching. Let us know about your pet stories in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!